Barrandoo to Landcare has participated in the National Planet Arc Tree Day since its inception in the year 2000. In 2014, we'll celebrate our 15th annual event. The Planet Arc Tree Day movement provides Australians with the opportunity to do something positive for the environment by annually planting over 1 million native plants across the country. Barrandoota is a peri-urban community located on the outskirts of Wodonga in northeast Victoria. Each year hundreds of community and school volunteers participate in our tree planting days. Everybody in Landcare and a lot of the people in the local community, um, even those who are not members of Landcare, will all turn up on the morning and there's a really good feeling. Um, tree planting is something that everybody seems to really get into and enjoy. It's fantastic to see what was once very bare, open areas become a very beautiful environment. Over the Planet Arc journey, Barrandoota Landcare has helped establish over 50,000 native trees, shrubs, grasses and wetland plants in our area. Students from Barrandoota Primary School, Frayne and Trinity Colleges all participate in the Planet Arc School Tree Planting Days. They learn lots on actual tree planting day and planting the tubes and learning about the roots and, and how far we plant them and what the plant needs etc. Um, but then as, as the trees grow and the kids grow to actually see that we've, they've done this and, and that uh, we are changing our habitat for, in a really positive way. Well it's good for the environment and it makes it look um, beautiful. They're peaceful, they block out surrounding areas, they just give you a place to relax. When they get bigger and bigger, they get more oxygen. When the site was first picked for the school, it was basically a paddock. We now have, you know, hundreds, thousands of, of uh, trees um, that, are, that are grown here. We certainly have helped um, develop the habitat. I know there's echidnas and blue tongues, but also the birds are amazing. See, they were probably here, you know, a long, long time ago, but certainly weren't when we first started 11 years ago. A huge amount of work goes into the planning and site preparation before each event. Pre-planting weed control and the protection of plants with tree guards is important to the success of the plantings. Our planting sites include key roadsides, creeks, parks and reserves. By strengthening wildlife corridors, we enhance habitats and all important links for native birds and mammals. don't live in one spot like a, a human lives in a house. They need to move around with the seasons, they need to follow their food sources, they need to go where the water is and um, go where the shelter is right for the different times of year. So it allows the animals to move from the hills to the river and back again um, fairly easily. Whereas if the corridors aren't there, they're confined to one small patch of bush. The more diversity you have in the plants, then it enables a greater range of um, animals and insects to thrive. And that means that there's more food for all the different sorts of animals. Nest boxes help demonstrate the presence of threatened species in our local environment. Our nest boxes provide homes for at least two threatened tree-dwelling mammals, the squirrel glider and the tune or brush-tailed fascagal.
RENS is the Wodonga Retained Environment Network and it was instituted after quite a few years of intensive survey of the local area. All of these shaded areas on the map are land where the vegetation is going to be retained. Some of them is very high quality bush and other areas are in open paddocks which are progressively being revegetated to strengthen those corridors so that the animals will find them a suitable habitat and be able to move from the range, Barranduda Range up here, the hills, all the way down to the Kiwa River. Having a network is a fantastic idea but by its very nature the network is surrounded by houses. It is in an urban area and it will have to deal with all of the issues that come with being in an urban area. I grew up not too far away, actually just in the beginning of Laneva, which is the next valley over, and Barranduda as a suburb didn't exist then. Um, it was just all farmland. Working here and seeing the new estates, you know, growing not too far away from us, um, you can see how the environment uh, is changing all the time and that um, it's even more important as a result of that, that we do have these um, wildlife corridors that um, are developed and maintained and you know, looked after for the wildlife um, around here because if we don't, it'll be gone, we will never have it back and, and the future kids won't ever see that again. Barrandooda is rapidly changing with increasing urbanisation, threatening our natural environment, but it also presents some opportunities. Our Landcare Group aims to raise community awareness and participation to help protect and enhance Barrandooda's key remnants and corridors into the future. Hi, I'm Rebecca Gilling for Planet Ark. Since National Tree Day began in 1996, around 2.8 million volunteers across Australia have planted over 20 million seedlings to restore habitat for local wildlife, control erosion, improve waterways and provide amenity for local communities. One standout has been the Baron Duda community. You've worked with us for 15 years and have achieved the astonishing result of 50,000 trees, shrubs and grasses in the ground. We want to congratulate you on this fantastic result. We want to thank you for your past efforts and wish you all the best for National Tree Day 2014 and beyond.